Hi, this is Mrs. Maycomber, and I would like to share a story with you. It's called When Dinosaurs Came with Everything, and it's written by Elise Broach and illustrated by David Small. Well, this looks like a good book. Friday is errand day. My mom goes on boring errands, and I have to go with her. Sounds like my kiddos. And this Friday seemed like every other Friday until we got to the bakery. A sign above the donuts read, buy a dozen, get a dinosaur. I couldn't believe my eyes, neither could my mom. They must mean a toy, she said. But when I took the box of donuts, the lady behind the counter said, hold on little guy, don't forget your dinosaur. <gasps> and there he was. Mom! I yelled. It was Triceratops. What? cried my mom. She did not look happy. How are we supposed to get that home? The bakery lady smiled. Oh, don't worry. He'll follow you. Follow you. They always do. And he did. All the way to the doctor's office where I had to go for my checkup. My mom shook her head. What are we going to do with him now? She looked up and down. That took a while. We can't bring him inside, she said finally. He'll have to stay in the parking lot. I told him not to talk to strangers. After my checkup, I asked for a sticker, like usual. No stickers today, said the nurse, just dinosaurs. With a shot, you get two. I want a shot, I said. The nurse smiled, not today, buddy. But you can pick up your dinosaur at the front desk. Mom, I yelled. There at the front desk was a stegosaurus. What on earth is going on? My mom cried. Oh, it's a special day, the nurse explained. Today, dinosaurs come with everything. Yes, I said. No, my mom groaned. <laughs> we walked down the street and my triceratops and my stegosaurus walked right behind us. Thud, thud, thud. They made friends right away. Across the street, other kids had dinosaurs too. I saw an ankylosaur, a duckbill, and a velociraptor. We all waved at each other. other our mothers glared and kept on walking. <laughs> I think we'd better go home right now, my mom said. But what about my haircut? The barber's waiting for me. My mom looked at the dinosaurs. Then she looked at my bangs. The barber always gives you a balloon, doesn't he? A nice balloon. Uh-huh, I said. I didn't want a balloon. I wanted a bear sore. At the barber shop, I gave my Triceratops and my Stegosaurus donuts for a snack. They waited outside and watched through the glass. The barber pumped the chair up high. He cut my hair too short, but I didn't mind because then he patted my head and said, wait right here, sport. He was gone for a long time. My mom tapped her foot. I don't like this, she said. Where exactly do they keep the balloons? Just then the barber came back with something flying over his head. It wasn't a balloon. Mom, I yelled, it was a pterosaur. This is too much, my mom protested. Now listen, she said to the barber. I think a balloon will do just fine today. Don't you have any balloons? Sorry, lady, no balloons. You get one of these instead. It was like that everywhere we went. At the shoe store, the sign read, buy two pair, get dinosaur free. My mom decided my shoes would last a while. At the theater, we could hear the popcorn man shouting, butter, no butter? You want a dinosaur with that? My mom said, we'd go to the movies another day. At the diner, I wanted to stop for a hamburger, but then a girl walked out with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, that's it, my mom cried. We are definitely not having lunch there. She looked at my Triceratops, my Stegosaurus, and my Pterosaur. 
what are we supposed to do with all of these dinosaurs? We don't have room for them. <clears throat> Excuse me, we can't take care of them. I hugged her leg. Don't worry, Mom. They can live in the backyard. My mom shook her head. Sweetheart, they're not toys. Dinosaurs are a lot of work. But Mom, look, they eat anything and they sleep outside. I'll do everything, I promise. Please, Mom, please. My mom sighed. Well, I suppose we can't just leave them here. Thank heavens we didn't stop at the diner. We hurried home and my dinosaurs hurried after us. Thud, 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 flap, flap, flap. When we were almost there, we saw a little duckbill dinosaur standing alone on the street corner. He looked lost. Mom, that's a baby hadrosaur. He's all by himself. Sweetie, we've already got our hands full. The hadrosaur followed us. It wasn't my fault. Look at him. You see, he's kind of tempting him with the I think maybe he was helping him get there. When we got home, my mom needed to lie down. So I made lunch for the dinosaurs. You think he made, look at all the mess that he made. He's trying. Got a watermelon. Then I showed them where to go to the bathroom. I told them to stay out of the neighbor's yard because of his mean dog. And I showed them my slide, my tire swing, and all the toys in the garage. They seemed to be having fun, but they really went wild when I took out my Frisbee. The hadrosaur had the first throw. The Frisbee landed on the roof. I saw my mom watching from the window. Is everything all right out there, she asked. Oh, everything's fine, Mom. We can get it down. And my pterosaur flew up and plucked the frisbee out of the gutter. My mom kept watching. She looked at him for a while, a long while. The next thing I knew, she had him cleaning the gutters. That's my mom, kind of mom right there. See, everybody can help. Then she came out to the backyard with a pile of wet clothes. These spikes come in handy, don't they, she said. So she starts hanging the socks there on the spikes. Pretty soon my mom had thought of chores for all of the dinosaurs. But I knew they didn't mind. It just meant they were part of the family. Hopefully you have to do chores at your house too. When we were finished helping, my mom said I could invite some friends over. It was a bring your own dinosaur party. I heard my mom on the phone to the bakery. She asked, do you have any donuts left? And that's when I knew everything would be just fine. Thank you.